Yeah, to be fair. Uh, holding my cell phone up into the C band dish, I did see a few little stops in the video. So I called my cell phone. So I'm just, I, I've answered my cell phone. Just I called it on my own cordless phone. And watching NASA. Okay, I still see the video. Robbie Strike here, reporting from the Ottawa Octane channel on the Happy Satellite Nerd. Today I'd like to talk to you about 5G and 5G interference on C-band. Now there's been all sorts of people talking, uh, uh, it's been a trending topic, is 5G. But I'm more talking about how it would affect C-band and how it affects uh, satellite reception here on Earth. Microwave interference is nothing new. We've had microwave interference, even back in the analog days, there was uh, satellite dishes that, uh, uh, PB, uh, I guess they were Earth stations, no, Thing, the term that they use for uh, satellite receiving earth stations. Uh, there was earth station TV or cable system and they built like a shroud around the dish to eliminate any noise. Over on uh, TV or OSAT we've, we, there has been a discussion forum there saying that would be a solution to deal with uh, C-band 5G interference. And here's uh, what I've experienced so far uh, here in 2020, see, uh, I, I'm in a I'm in a smaller city. Kingston's not a huge town. It's but it, they, there is 5G towers downtown, which would be a couple kilometers away from here. Like there's 5G ready towers, so I don't know if that's in, kind of in that southern southern direction of where my satellite dish does point. 5G uh, towers, but there's also other um, microwave telecommunications that are in that range that uh, could cause interference. So we're not sure. <sighs> How it's going to affect C-band? From what I understand, is the C-band broadcasters are going to do a repack, so they're going to try to put a lot of the satellites uh, that are broadcasting to eliminate this interference in a higher point of the arc, from about 91 west to about 107 west, is where they'll have it on the arc for most of North America to be able to receive C-band signals without having the dish pointed low in the horizon. So that's the idea of what this repack for C-band will be, is this dish is at pointing right, currently pointed at 127 West for the NASA feed. So I thought this might be an interesting um, place to put it for that test that I was doing, just to see how why, my Wi-Fi, if it would cut out the uh, signal at all. I'd like to do this little experiment to show you guys. So I got two I tablets with Wi-Fi uh, in them, and I got one, I'm streaming NASA, uh, through my HD home run. So I'm using my Thor broadcast uh, modulator saying it's my HD home run, which is sending uh, my satellite signal to this. That's how I tend to do it around here. NASA's coming in fine. I'm holding these things close to the dish with the Wi Fi. And just gonna hold it up in the dish here. And it's not affecting the video whatsoever. So I have done a review on getting a feed horn LMB. And Tech 2000 has also recommended uh, you can get a feed horn LMB that just has one polarity. It would reduce any microwave noise. Microwave noise meaning 5G interference or other interference that uh, could cause C-band disruptions. And the disruptions, from what I see on my system, it's like a drop in signal and then it comes back up. So I'll be able to get 70% and then it'll come right back up to... Uh, it'll drop to zero and then come back up to 70%. And I'm not sure if that's 5G interference, 100%. But, and uh, another thing I'm using is this, uh, I got this product here from uh, Titanium. Phase lock loop C-band LMB. And this has a dual output. I don't know if you can see it too well in the light there. Uh, so this is what I'm using right now. I've had the other titanium LMB before, which is just a single output, but I wanted to have two outputs going to two, uh, two different TVs in my house. So I've been using this, and this has been working decently for me, but I have, at certain times, and it's not all the times, 
there'll be the odd transponder that will drop out and I, or I won't be able to receive it at all. So in my community, there is a organization, a grassroots organization called Kingston's for Safe Energy. Sa uh, Kingston's for Safe Energy. I covered them before, and from what I've heard on this news story that I had on my uh, free satellite TV page. But after one year of dealing with their teenage daughter's unexplained anaphylactic reactions, electromagnetic hypersensitivity became their whole world. After going through all the experts, the dermatologists, all the allergies, um, etc., we made our way to the Women's College Hospital in Toronto where they actually can diagnose it. And it's considered an environmental sensitivity. Like, it's very closely related to chemical sensitivities. Logan's daughter becomes yeah. ill and gets a physical skin reaction if she is around cell phones, iPads, or anything that uses wireless technology or Bluetooth. Uh, there is health concerns with 5G, I understand that, and how much power is being put out. And the annoying thing is that us C-band satellite users are going to have to get either a new LMB that has uh, a filter in it to filter out any extra noise that would be causing it. And we might have to do the next up solution is get a bigger dish, which I don't necessarily want to do at this time. I have an 8-foot dish, but it's recommended in my area, perhaps a 10-foot or 12-foot. I don't want to necessarily get a 12-foot dish because of this 5G. And the telecommunication companies here in Canada are not going to get reimburse me for having to buy this new equipment because they're polluting the airwaves with extra RF signal that is interfering with my reception of being able to get NASA and other channels like that. They're going to want me to pay $200 a month for their... Bell TV and for Rogers and for Kojiko. The doom and gloomers, and this, you know what? Doom and gloom with satellite, every year, every, at some point every year, a channel will go away and it's the end of satellite. You'll read the forums and it's, oh, it's the end of satellite now because it's not like how it used to be. Even though channels are digital and there's actually more channels per capita on C band now than there ever was because of digital, like back in the old days, the glory days, there was 20 channels per satellite. Now there's hundreds of channels because it's digital. You can fit the amount of channels that used to fit on a whole satellite, they can fit on one transponder now. So probably more depending on, you know, all depending on the bit rate. Is satellite going away? I doubt it. And what uh, I think even earth stations will still be able to use. So like cable companies will still be using C-band satellite they'll just be basically having their satellites way out in the country somewhere where and relaying it uh, where there's not a whole lot of 5G. There's actually a huge backlash to 5G. I've seen several municipalities have some grassroots groups that are against having 5G because it goes right onto their municipalities, street lights basically, and have the uh, public utilities company that are gonna have to work hand in hand with the telecommunications company to install all this. So it's almost like they're getting a handout from the taxpayer to install all this as well. Interesting uh, note on that. All of these technologies actually have never been pre-market safety tested and 5G among them. And so 5G is going to bring an incredible densification of many cell phone towers um, that will make it very, very difficult. To, if you didn't want to live near a cell tower, it would be very difficult to get away. 5G cell bases already exist in some areas throughout the city of Kingston. This one behind me right at Brock Street is an example of an early model sometimes referred to as early 5G or 5G ready. Loken says that the public should be consulted about the installation of these cell bases because unlike cell phone towers, they aren't standalone structures and can be installed on existing infrastructure, including light posts. She says wireless internet or using wireless frequencies should be a choice. In fact, you're not even allowed to oppose it on the grounds of health. And so that feels like an infringement on my democratic rights. There's uh, one guy on YouTube, Tech Magnet. He's done a good uh, discussion about uh, basically there's some guys, a little bit of a whack job. And he's like making all these accusations that the 5G towers are uh, weapons with lasers and all this. So check, uh, check out his video. And with some satellites being retired, what will that do to... KU band. The hope is in the free satellite TV community is that there'll be more channels on KU band. 
And I would just love it if all the DigiNets like MeTV and Antenna TV all were on KU band. And there'd be like some place on satellite where you can park, even with Orbi TV, so that if areas can't get all those DigiNets on Orbi TV, have an extra transponder on the satellite that our Orbi TV's on and have some free, some North American free view. That's what they have in, in uh, the UK. They have free view where they have like, 70 plus channels that are free free channels like basically like having an antenna except people use satellite dishes there and that's why satellite receivers are so cheap because in most parts of the world that's how they watch tv they watch tv through satellite except for in north america where we have over the air a little bit over the air in certain areas not like how we not like how they do in europe so this is an update video on what uh 5g is doing to c-band now within the next year or so when they roll out more 5g will be i'll be able to report more on that and what type of lmb or filter or techniques we might have to do to go about fixing the 5g problem what i'm asking is for you out there if you're using c-band uh, let me know in the comments if it's affecting your reception and any techniques you've done to fix it now one thing is check all your connections if you're finding interference on your c-band setup um, maybe change your uh, your connections Sometimes you might have a bad connection. Sometimes you might have a bad uh, dissect switch. I've had a, a situation where I was getting signal loss on certain trans on a certain transponder, and I couldn't figure out what it was. I changed the uh, dissect switch, and it seemed to have gone away. There might have been something wrong with the dissect switch. Sometimes it's your LMB. Uh, your LMBs. What and people ask me, why do LMBs die? Well, they're outside all the time in humidity, and the humidity gets inside it and might. Uh, corrode the electronics and then it might not work as well after a while that does happen a lot of people have called, called me and it's like i've my my uh, lmb stopped working uh, why did that happen some a lot of the times it's just because it's sitting out in the, in the hot sun in the summertime it's getting rained on weathered on it's getting freezing so the electronics inside the lmb might have might just causing you issues there so there's that there's the alignment of your dish you can be getting interference because you don't have your dish properly aligned so maybe get a meter and try to properly align your dish so that you're not getting signal loss that could be a big factor in getting better reception and, and sometimes it's your uh your skew of your lmb so maybe you might need to have your lmb just adjusted properly that could be an issue there's all sorts of things troubleshooting things that you can do on your c-band dish to make it to optimize it and uh my whole thing i've been doing uh, over the last few years is the reason why I didn't get a 10 footer I wanted to see what I can do with an 8 footer because a lot of people say well 10 foot's too big but an 8 foot so I've been doing a lot of uh, experimenting with mine now mind you with an 8 foot dish you're not going to get all the channels there's a few channels I can't get um, there's a satellite that has TV Ontario TVO in the Claire but I can't it's on the charts but I, I've only I've seen it once actually on a clear day of uh, and that's what happens. Some clear days, I've been able to get uh, uh, some of these really weak transponders, and then other days, like your more average days, it's kind of like the um, uh, weather. Uh, the video I did about weather affecting your over-the-air television, how you can get uh, stations from over 100 miles away, and then on a clear day, and then other days you can't get it. Same thing applies with C-band and KU-band. I find there's certain days I'll get certain transponders I never can get, but it just happens to be the right. Uh, the sun's just uh, the moon and the stars and the sun is aligned just right you can get those weak signals with uh, a c-band uh, satellite dish or a ku band satellite dish come to freesatellitetv.net or the free satellite tv page here on facebook and join our groups and discussion groups about free satellite tv and enjoy some of the videos that we link here to help you learn about free satellite tv all right, so this uh, channel is getting close to about 10,000 subscribers, and I thank you so much for all of those people that have supported me by subscribing me. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm if you subscribe to my channel and give me a like to help get the word out about free TV because the world would be so, so much a better place if people in North America knew about free satellite TV like how they do in other parts of the world where they get hundreds of free channels with a small KU band satellite dish. So please give this video a like share with all your friends uh, come to my uh, facebook page and groups that i've created 
Uh, there's lots of people that have joined there now that are able to help you because I'm not always able to answer all the questions that people have, but I do have a group for specifically for North American free satellite TV users, and you can go there and ask questions and there'll be people that will answer your questions if you're comfortable using Facebook. And there's other forums out there too that uh, will help you get your free satellite TV stuff set up. Just one thing I'm asking on my Facebook group that I've created, please don't ask me questions about in Europe or other parts of the world. There's lots of websites there that give good information on that. And I'm trying to just more focus on North America. And um, don't ask me about pirating uh, Dish Network or or anything like that. Uh, if you're gonna ask questions about that, we're gonna, I'm gonna remove you, okay? Cause uh, we're, we're just, we're not promoting any piracy. We don't want any, I don't want any crap from these big corporations <laughs> um, that I'd be promoting that stuff and I'm not. Uh, what, what I'm here for is free, what's free and in the clear, cat. Yeah, the cat went up there.